Well, I spawned in a bit, uh, well, I spawned in with the wrong weapon. No worries, once I die, I'm gonna switch to the uh, weapon I wanted to, I wanted to do. So, uh, anyways, uh, good evening, YouTube. I'm playing some Battlefield 4 on Rush. I hope my fucking mic is on. And, uh, yeah. I haven't played Rush in a while. Usually when I usually when I play Rush, uh, I always get put on the losing team, and uh, it's pretty inconvenient. So you know that kind of takes away the enjoyment of the game if I always get put into the losing team. But it looks like I'm actually put on a good team this time. It's just that, you know, I I don't uh, fault anybody who plays uh, terribly. I have my bad games myself, but uh, as I mentioned in a previous commentary, if I'm just uh, if I'm just playing the game, no commentary, as I usually do, I just, you know, endure the bad game and then I switch to the good game. And then, you know, I just uh, then... What's the word? Uh... I just, uh, whatchamacallit, I just endure the bad games, wait until I have a good game and then I record that and uh, upload it on my channel. But when I try to do a live commentary, I don't always have, uh, I can only endure so many bad games while, while trying to make a commentary before I just uh, get tilted and give up, especially if it's a multiplayer game. And uh, today I've been trying to use the MPX, but for whatever reason it always uh, played against me. I used other submachine guns like the uh, like the MP7, the CBJ, even the Grossa 4 for fuck's sake, and uh, I fared better with those guns than I did with this one. And you know, I just want to have a gameplay with the... Uh, with the MPX so that I don't have to use the gun ever again because for some reason I can't really do well while using it. I highly doubt they nerfed it though. I mean I do recall uh, having a good day, good game with the MPX, I went 15 and 4 on Caspian border with my friend Patrick, but the problem is that match was already way too uh, much in progress. And it was already pretty one-sided when the match started, so, you know, it just felt cheap to... It just felt cheap to uh, record that match and uh, call it a gameplay. If that makes sense. to go to Bravo but I'm not giving them my thingamajig so I'm just gonna back up I'm 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 there we go. Let's just hope we can uh, we can uh, destroy this MCOM before they fucking defuse it. I'm also glad that I'm. Uh... Well, I'm definitely not glad by the fact that my aim was piss poor. 
I'm just glad that I'm uh, doing this live commentary because, you know, I'm in a party chat right now by myself so that I don't uh, disturb the uh, people playing this while talking in game chat. And, uh, yeah, because, you know, the volume is lower since I'm in a party chat and the obnoxious alarm isn't as obnoxious as when I would play this without being in a party chat. I mean, I could just turn down the volume, but I don't play Rush that often. I don't know where I'm going with this. We're so close to defusing this. Good. Shit. All right, now I need an ammo box because I'm not gonna have the... Uh, I'm not gonna have the luxury of having more rockets until I refill it or until I fucking respawn. Is that the factory? Yeah, I think it is. Where the fuck did this boy come from? Thanks, man. He's in the bunker. Yep. Can you, like, spot him, please? You know, this is why I won't play hardcore like ever. The trade-off of uh, having... Uh, this is why I would never play hardcore even when I'm trying to do a sniping gameplay because the trade-off of uh, one-shotting people basically anywhere isn't worth it uh, if I can't fucking spot people because I am so used to this feature. This feature is actually a crutch for me. So, yeah. And I'm not sure if I can uh, cope without it. I'll just stay core. I'll just stay in core. As much as the, uh, as much as uh, how attractive it is to uh, be able to one-shot people with a sniper rifle, like anywhere, that trade-off just isn't worth it. You know, as much as I love Zavod, I never played Rush on Zavod, so I have absolutely no fucking clue where the uh, things are, the MCOMs. Well, I know where one MCOM is. And as I already mentioned in a previous commentary, I'm getting really fucking tired of dying to that thing. I don't even mind the gun, I actually like the gun. But getting killed by it way too much really fucking pisses me off. And this guy has already killed me five times, but since I'm just in this to win and not really give a fuck about my KD as much as I usually do, it's fine. Well, this is how you make your presence known, I guess. Now, if I could just get up there and not fucking die. Oh, for fuck's sake, why is nobody pushing with me? I'm not gonna use my boost. We have lost uh, almost half our tickets. And uh, we are still...
still haven't destroyed either MCOM. I hope we destroy A soon. about to fucking blow up let's try not to get flanked shall we and now I assume uh, it will be at the uh, train station You know, come to think of it, I'm also just a few uh, MCOM ribbons away and a few rush wins away from getting a dog tag. That is, you know, rush specific. Oh, it's where Foxtrot normally is. Well, this will be a bit uh, irritating. You know, I wish I could just do a destiny and uh, just, you know, uh, beam a vehicle out of thin air so that I don't have to potentially run through 200 meters of fucking sniper fire. You know, that's also one thing I wanted to say, destiny and uh, it's uh, TTK and it's pretty generous aim assist and hitbox. Kind of makes it difficult to play Battlefield 4. But uh, on the other hand, the uh, quick TTK of Battlefield 4 makes it hard to play Destiny afterwards. Yeah, those are my two main uh, shooters nowadays. I mean, I still upload the uh, archives, if you will, of Modern Warfare Remastered. But as it stands, I usually just uh, alternate between Battlefield 4 and Destiny 2. I'm also pretty close to reaching max rank, max rank on Battlefield 4. I don't know if I'm gonna stop playing once I reach max rank. I mean, I like this game. Maybe I'll go back to it once I'm actually max rank, but I don't know. I like Battlefield 4. You know, getting the Made in China dog tag with that piece of shit was really fucking difficult. I hated that DMR. How the fuck was that guy not dead? If I was the one getting shot at, I would have fucking died. Was my accuracy really that piss poor? Damn it. What I wanna know is where the hell is the fucking tank? I hope they already destroyed it. This is gonna be difficult. Oh, for fuck's sake, this guy again. No, I'm surprised that I'm actually still uh, having a 2KD even though I got killed by the same dude like six fucking times already. All right. 
right, the bomb has been armed. Once it explodes, we have fucking won this round as far as I know. Come on, guys, we can do this. I believe in you. All right, 37 tickets. One more station. Damn it. No. Yes. All right, that was some rush gameplay on uh, Zavod 311. I don't play rush that much, but I'm glad that I managed to capture this gameplay. Don't really play rush that much, but hey, let's see how uh, let's see how uh, we fared. Yep, I still need to win two more rush game modes and arm six more objectives and then I get the dog tag, but hey. So anyways, that was some rush gameplay on Zavod 311. I'm sorry that this commentary was all over the place, but uh, I enjoyed it. Alright, uh, good afternoon YouTube. The last rush gameplay uh, went so well. Let's see if this will go as well uh, or so. And I'm already dead. Not even five seconds in. This is already the second set of MCOMs. I don't think it will go over well. I don't think this is gonna go over well. There's a fucking claymore. Well, somebody needs to fucking destroy that thing. And disarm the bomb at the same time. So, what should I prioritize? Dude, there were like a bunch of people there and you decide to fucking shoot me again. What the fuck, boy? Ugh, this is going well already. Yeah, like I said, rush gameplays are pretty fucking hard to come down nowadays and uh, yeah. Maybe I'm being a little bit of a fucking cheat and a hypocrite because last time I said Oh, I don't want to play uh, Conquest if uh, the game is already way underway, but you know. Rush gameplays on the other hand, I don't know. Never really liked the game mode, I just uh, play this for variety's sake. And Rush isn't that popular anymore, like I said, so. You take what you can get, you know. Plus I'm using the MG4 and in Conquest this thing isn't uh, that good. Are you gonna be the obligatory pain in the ass? This time it's a fucking LAV, a thing that I absolutely fucking despise. Last time it was just a, an assault dude who managed to kill me when I wasn't uh, when I wasn't uh, looking or when I was already, you know, uh, busy trying to dis dis defeat other enemy players. This time it's a fucking LAV that's uh, pissing me off. Never really like LAVs. 
but I mentioned that in a previous commentary. I don't mind the main battle tanks. LAVs on the other hand, fuck those things. In case this commentary is way too fucking short, which I'm sure it will be, I don't know, maybe I'm just gonna, uh, whatchamacallit, attach this to a different live commentary as a bonus, if you will, so that it's, uh, you know, not just an appetizer. It would be like the dessert, if you will, assuming that this actually, you know, doesn't take that long because I remember I was once playing on Dawnbreaker and uh, yeah how should I say this uh, I was already getting way too overconfident that the W was a quick one but uh, the opponents used it against us and yeah that didn't go over so well we got our asses handed to us our overconfidence was our downfall God fucking damn it. Come on guys, do this, we can do this. There's just three fucking uh things left. Nice job guys. It's fucking back, it's fucking back, it's fucking back. And I got fucking run over. <laughs> well that's fucking poetic. That was a pretty damn quick match of Rush on Hainan Resort. And uh, this will just be uh, something, an attachment to a different uh, video. So that, you know, this isn't just... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna attach this to a different commentary. So, yeah, if you... I, should I even say if you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe yeah I'll, I'll just do that if you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe if you didn't leave a dislike the dislike button's right there it's a free country you can do whatever you want so see you when I see you and goodbye